What is up, everybody? King Barlow here, and I am back with episode 46, and we're about to do Along for the Ride. Inspiration, I'm ready for you any minute now. You are walking by the artist hangout one afternoon when you spot Ryan inside, working on a sculpture. You step in just as Ryan flops down onto the floor. He throws his arms up in the air, clearly frustrated. Ugh! Come on! Whoa, what's wrong, Ryan? Oh, I just started my first big sculpture since I transferred to your school, but I kind of hit a dead end with this sculpture. That's tough. Yeah, what I'm doing right now just isn't working. I need fresh inspiration. Ryan, Ryan suddenly sits up, his hair all askew. He snaps his fingers. Hold up. I know what I need to do. Dennis, how will you feel about spending a day at the park? Sure, let's go. Dennis's art, art, artist friend is searching for his muse. How do you get inspired? Half an hour later, Ryan pulls into the parking lot of an amusing of a of an amusement oh my gosh of an amusement park in the distance of in the distance streets of laughter mingle with the roar of ro roller coasters ryan i don't know which one to say because he said park and we had a roller coaster place i'm just gonna say this is awesome Amu amusement parks are the best kind of parks seven pine seven pines park is definitely the place to be let's go ride 10 million roller coasters the sun shines bright as you survey the park. Tall pine trees book in the giant sign over the entrance. Come on, I'll buy your ticket. Lead the way. You follow Ryan to the ticket booth and into the park. The sun beats down on many park goers already there. Ryan snags a map and starts circling different rides with the pen. Looks. Looks like the, Oh my gosh, looks like you are the man with the plan. Hey, this place is massive. We've got to be uh, we've got to be strategic about where we want to go uh, about where we're going to go. First up, the roller coasters. Life is like a roller coaster. There's ups and downs and seat belts are mandatory. You and Ryan wait in line for your first roller coaster of the day. They call this baby the Mega Thriller. I can see why. The bright yellow tracks of the roller coaster rise towards the sky before dipping into a series of sharp drops and loops. You catch Ryan looking at it with the admiration. Whoa, just look at those lines. All the slopes and turns flow into each other perfectly. And when you step back to look at it as a whole, it looks like a mountain range. And we're going to conquer it. We're up next. You and Ryan take your seats and the safety bars lock into place with the click. The long train of cars jerks forward and begins its ascent. Here we go. The roller coaster car climbs higher and higher into the sky. OMG, everything looks so small. Heads up, Dennis. There's a camera at the first drop. You better figure out what you're going to do. Guess it's my time to shine. The steady clank of the roller coaster ends when you reach the peak. The roller coaster pauses for a moment high above the park. Suddenly, your car plunges down. You... Turn it off there. Screen. Screen! I swear whenever I be clicking those things, it don't click. As the ride plummets down, you throw your arms up in the air and scream at the top of your lungs. Ah! Besides you, Ryan points with an exaggerated flare and winks at the camera. Hey! Shouts and streets fill the air as the roller coaster takes you through a sharp drop, then straight into a loop. You grip your seat tight as you go. Hold up. Tight as you go upside down. Whoa. The roller coaster plunges into one loop after another. Oh, yeah. When the ride slows to a stop, the two of you step out of your car, exhilarated from the, from the ride. That was amazing. Is my hair standing up? Because I feel like it is. You and Ryan visit the exit booth to pick up your photos. The picture captures your look of terror and Ryan's dramatic wink. Check us out. Oh, man. We look hilarious. This one's a keeper. Dennis and a friend just went on an intense roller coaster ride. Can you handle the loop? The loop? After a few more roller coasters, you and you and Ryan follow the map to your next stop. Ye old candy shoppy. That sounds delicious. You step into <laughs> you step into the sweet shop. Sweets shop. I want everything. Candy making is an art, a very delicious art. Inside the old-fashioned candy shop, you and Ryan walk among the wooden barrels full of candy. Shells of wrapped candies and chocolate bars line the back wall. I don't think I've ever seen this much candy in my life. You walk further into the shop. Behind the counter, several cooks are demonstrating how to make taffy. Now that is cool. Think you could do that, Ryan? Sure. It can't be, it can't be that different from sculpting. 
You and Ryan wander to the bat. Ryan picks up a large rainbow lollipop. Dennis, do you see the colors in this thing? Ryan angles the lollipop to catch the light. Its colors transform into a gorgeous pattern of vibrant hues. That's beautiful. It's like stained glass. I love how the colors highlight this world pattern. I'm buying this for sure. What are you going to get, Dennis? You look around at the array of candies. Of candies. I think I'll have the... Giant Jawbreaker. It's the greatest, most delicious challenge ever. You buy a brightly colored Jawbreaker. Outside, Ryan tries, to, tries out his rain, rainbow lollipop while you tackle your candy. This... This... Amazing. This is amazing. Yeah, this is even better than Halloween. Dennis just stopped by an old-fashioned sweet shop. What mouth-watering candies did Dennis buy? Obviously a jawbreaker, that's what I that's what I said I was gonna get. Whatever. After polishing off your candy, you and Ryan consult the mute amusement park map. Okay, next up on the list is the scrambled eggs. This way. The two of you cut across yeah, cut across the park plaza and stop at the breakfast themed scramblers ride. Giant bacon strips hold a pods of egg like carts that spin in circles around a central piece of toast. Whoa, this place takes their breakfast seriously. Let's get in line. All right. Is centrifugal force involved here? Where's Nishan when you need him? The line for the breakfast team scrambler ride inches forward. Ryan tucks his map into his pocket, then turns to you. You ready for this? Of oh please, I was born ready. When it's your turn, you clamber clamber into the elevated seat. The ride operator gives a signal, and the scrambler ride jerks to life. Whoa. You hang on tight as the scrambler ride begins. Each cluster of seat turns turn in opposite directions, all sailing around a single center. It spins faster and faster. Oh yeah. The scenery around you goes in a blur of colors. Ryan grins at you. Grins at you. You know that phrase pottery in motion? Yeah, this is totally it. Exactly. There's just something about how we're spinning on one axis and then around another one in the middle. It's so elegant. Not to mention dizzying. The ride accelerates as the as, oh, as the wind whips by, you throw up your arms. Woo! Dennis just rode a scrambler at the amusement park. Is Dennis all scrambled up now? You stumble off the ride, fighting for balance. Hold on, I'm feeling a little dizzy. It's okay, there's a bench over there. We can sit down for a bit. The two of you collapse on the bench. Let's see, where to next? Ryan reaches into his pocket for his map, then frowns. He checks his other pocket. Uh-oh. I think I lost the map. Guess my map decided to go MIA. Ryan checks his pockets again, but comes up with nothing. I must have dropped my map on the ride back there. Ryan, I'm so sorry. I know you had a whole plan for this day. It's too bad. I drew this sweet sketch on the back. Maybe we can get it back or recreate it. I'm sure we can find another map around here somewhere. Oh no, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Wait, you're okay with losing your map? Sure. I mean, you can't really plan art anyway. I just wanted to get inspired today. But that inspiration came from, can come from anywhere. We'll just have to wing it. Where do you want to go to next, Dennis? Well, how about... You survey the packed amusement park. People walk by with ice cream cones, passing rides that tower over them. You read signs that mark each of the nearest rides. How about we go for the Redwood Rapids, Pine, Gravity Drop. Gravity Drop sounds terrifying. Whoa, that tower sure is tall. Yeah, I'm pumped for this. Let's do it. Soon you and Ryan are strapped into your seats for the drop tower. Your seats rise up. Okay, I definitely underestimated how high up this would be. Once you are at the top, you stay suspended for a moment and then shoots down. A rush of adrenaline hits you as you plummet toward the ground. Ah! Ah! Out of the word, you and Ryan stop at the food court to recover from your last ride. That was intense. Yeah, my heart's beating like crazy right now. Rides like that are kind of magical. They make you feel something, just like any great work of art. In this case, absolute terror. Right on, the thrill, the rush of, of fear and exhilaration is powerful stuff. Wanna go for round two? You know it. Dennis and her friend just went on an exhilarating ride. What gets your adrenaline going? At the end of the day, you and Ryan walk back to Ryan's car. Whew, I'm gonna sleep well tonight. I feel like I could go for another few hours, actually. For real? How? 
There was just so much inspiration to draw on. When I get back, I'm going to start sculpting again. I know exactly what I'm going to do with my sculpture. I wonder how Ryan's sculpture is going. Calvin or... I don't even think I have Calvin. Yeah, so I'll just use Autumn. The next day, you stop by the artist hangout to see Ryan. On your way over, you run into Autumn. Dennis, what are you doing here? I wanted to see how Ryan's sculpture is coming along. I bet it's amazing. Can't wait to see it. You walk into the art studio after you walk into the art studio after autumn. Ryan waves to you from a work table near the back and comes over. Hey Ryan, how's your masterpiece going? I couldn't call it a masterpiece quite yet, but come take a look. You and Autumn follow follow Ryan back to his work table. A tall abstract work sits on the table. Whoa. <sighs> you and Autumn circle Ryan's work in progress. It's a river of intertw intertwined metal wires flowing upward, reaching for the ceiling. It's incredible. Yeah, what's the idea behind it? I call it Adrenaline Rush. It's everything I felt and saw at Seven Pines yesterday distilled into one sculpture. Ryan taps the network of copper and silver wires woven into one long ribbon. I tried to capture the way a roller coaster, coaster shape flows together so perfectly and the colors that emphasize the world's whorls of the lollipop. Ryan traces a finger along the wires, highlighting the way they weave back and forth. They meet, then diverge on their own paths. This mimics the scrambler's pattern of motion, the overlapping circles, and it all comes together to portray the thrill of the amusement part we call life. You let your gaze travel from the bottom of the sculpture to the top, taking it all in. This is just like how I felt yesterday. I love it. You should, you should try to get this displayed in that gallery downtown. You think it's that good? Of course. Just looking at this makes me more motivated to work on my own paintings. Seriously, it's awesome. I can see it happening already. First the local galleries, next the world. Dennis Friend is making a sculpture inspired by an, inspired by an amusement park. What do you get inspired by? Oh, before I forget, Ryan turns the sculpture around. He points to a line of writing etched into the base to Dennis for coming along with me on my journey. Ryan, you dedicated this to me? Of course. You came with me when I went looking for inspiration. I don't take that lightly. The way you are always ready to help people and accept them for who they are, it means a lot to me. I'll always be there for you if you need more inspiration. I appreciate it, Dennis. You brush your hand over the carved ded dedication. Sunlight glints off the metal wires winding skyward. I'm happy to help a great artist. Alright guys, like that is it for episode 46. I'm about to go ahead on and end this episode. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please hit that thumbs up button for your um boy. Alright. I appreciate all the support. And um I'll see you guys in episode 47. So with that being said, I'll see y'all in episode 47, which I just said. <laughs> um so peace out.